One thing I get asked a lot of questions about is my floral belt patterns. Most of you know that when I start to work out a floral design on a belt or anything like that, I typically just draw my designs directly onto the leather with a pencil before I carve and tool them. I've never really been one for drawing a lot of ideas out on pencil and paper and then tracing them or sketching them, transferring them onto the leather. But a few weeks ago, I kind of just sat down with pencil and paper and wanted to doodle out some ideas. And I came up with these patterns. They're not necessarily beginner patterns or anything like that. I was kind of just letting my mind go and putting some things down on pencil and paper. But I decided to go ahead and actually offer these up on my website for any of you that are interested. They are available as a digital download. And like I said, they're not necessarily a beginner. It's pretty much just what was on my mind that day. So if you are interested in trying out some new ideas or new designs or you're learning to draw your own patterns and you want to just study how I draw things out or figure some new elements out, then these could be beneficial to you. This bottom one right here is maybe a little bit more beginner or simplified, but it's nothing fancy. Like I said, it was literally just pencil and paper that I was doodling these out on and this is what I came up with. So there's places on here where you can see that I was erasing and messed up. So when you print this off, you will see some of those imperfections. I will, this is it's pretty basic. It's nothing fancy at all. I wouldn't consider myself a pattern maker. Traditionally, I, I've never offered patterns. This is the first time I've ever done that. So this is kind of a new learning experience for me as well. So I would love to hear some of your opinions and, and get some feedback on this. This little template right here is something that I tooled out from these patterns the other day. This is actually this top pattern right here. So I'm gonna move over to my table and show you how you can go about transferring these patterns onto leather and tooling them out and maybe making belts out of them. If you decide to purchase these patterns, then almost instantly after your order is completed, you should receive an email with a link to download these patterns. If you don't receive that link, then get with me ASAP and we'll get that figured out. But once you get these patterns downloaded to your computer, you can print them off and if it prints off weird then you might have to change the orientation of your printer but always double check the measurements on these as well so as you can see right here it says it's that these patterns are for one and a half inch wide belts so after these print off then always measure from border to border on these just to make sure that they are an inch and a half wide and that everything came out nice but after you get this printed off then you can do whatever you want with it but i'm going to show you how i prefer to get these patterns transferred over uh, as you all know there's a lot of different ways to transfer patterns but this way is how i prefer to do it what i have here is just some inexpensive tracing paper that i got from hobby lobby and i have this little strip cut out at an inch and a half wide the same as these patterns will be and from here what I like to do is set this down on whichever pattern you intend on using and this is where I like to use my 8B pencil once again I'll use my 8B pencil to trace that original line art out onto this transfer paper but then I also want to flip that over and use my 8B pencil to trace it on the back of this paper as well that way when you move to the leather you can use a bone dry piece of leather like this and when you start to transfer these patterns over or trace these patterns onto the belt you don't have to use an 8B pencil for this part, um, but once you start drawing these out, the graphite on the back side of this transfer paper will leave some markings on the leather like you can see there, which makes it a lot easier to work with these patterns because from here, if you wanna change up some flower petals or some elements or mix it up however you want, then you're not strictly limited to the line art on this pattern. You can erase it and do whatever you want. And I think that's very beneficial for anybody that's wanting to to practice with these patterns but not just stick straight to them or if you want to adjust it throughout the belt it's a really nice way to go about transferring these patterns onto the leather a question that you might have because this obviously isn't the entire length of a belt is how you make these patterns work for the entire length of a belt and talking about this first one for example this is why i really like using this transfer paper with that graphite lead on it the 8b graphite lead so let's say you set this down and you get this traced out like that and let's just play pretend for a second that you have traced this onto a belt and that this is the belt. Once you get to the break right here, all you have to do is take your transfer paper and if you line it up right there, you will notice that that kind of disrupts the flow. So if you follow your flow lines when you get here, that doesn't match up. Technically, the vine, this next vine structure should be coming down. All you have to do is flip this transfer paper directly over like that and then line it up and you have this exact same pattern but inverted so it doesn't disrupt the flow so if we look here we're coming down up down and then you don't technically have to put this flower here again do whatever you want but it lines up okay and I don't think it looks bad but then you have down and then up down up and so on and so forth so that's another way to help work throughout the entire belt and again I like using that 
this method because it drops that lead onto the belt and if you get to a point where you want to add a name or something like that you can just erase certain sections and and have it end however you like some of these patterns are left up to interpretation so once again they're not perfect so like this one for an example there's not a flower here you wouldn't want to just flip this over and have all this vine work jumbled up but once you got to the end section right here all you could really have to do is i guess technically take one of these flowers and add it here and then you could just move your pattern down and start because the vine structure would follow really good right there again I'm, i don't mean to confuse you i'm sorry if i am but these patterns are completely yours if after you purchase them and you can mix them up and change them however you want my goal is not to make you dependent on these patterns but i don't think there's anything wrong with taking these and learning from them get your basic fundamentals down learn how to draw flowers leaves study all of the elements figure out how to draw a scroll and make it fit in properly learn different flow concepts and how to keep your patterns flowy just all of that it's a good way to learn when you're first starting out i know it can be very intimidating to even consider drawing your own patterns at one point in time i told myself i would never be able to figure out how to draw patterns it was it was I'm not very artistic in my own mind and it was really hard for me to figure out. I've put a lot of work in to even get to this point and I'm not satisfied with where I'm at now, but I'm, I'm always trying to learn and grow and if I can help you guys along the way, then, then I would love to do that. One other thing before I forget, once you purchase these patterns, you should have unlimited access to them. It's not just a one and done type deal where you print this off one time and that's all you get. You should be able to download these to your computer and print them off and have access to them whenever you'd like. If you have any issues with that, then send me a message and we'll get that figured out. Here's another close up view once again of this first pattern that I tooled out on this little template, just having some fun with it the other day. I'm really excited to see what some of you guys come up with. Again, don't feel limited to this line art. Change it up, put your own twist on it, do whatever you like with it. And if you make any belts out of it or bracelets or anything like that, and you post videos or photos, then tag me in them, send me a message. I would really love to see what you guys come up with this. If you're interested in these again, then check the link in the description or it should pop up somewhere below the video, or just head over to GertieLeatherCo.com, my website, and you can find them on there. I really appreciate you guys for watching and I look forward to hearing from some of you. If you haven't already liked the video and subscribed to the channel, but until next time, we'll see you.